Welcome to week five of Think, Create, Code. We have covered quite a lot of new information so far. Let's take a moment to have a look at how far we have come. At the beginning of the course, we knew nothing about how code worked. We know that code is all around us, and I'm sure you can look around you right now, wherever you are, and see examples of how code has changed the way that you live your everyday life. What we have done in this course is to show you some of the essential concepts from code in relation to creating images. However, all that you have discovered can be used in any other programming language that you might want to use. We have explored the idea of the algorithm, which is simply just the way that we describe how we tell the computer what it has to do. An algorithm is a sequence of instructions that are very carefully described that let the computer know its task. But we can't just write instructions using whatever words we like. We have to use a programming language where we can give a set of instructions written in that language that can then be easily translated and executed by the computer. In processing JS, the language that we have been using to create images, we have specific instructions to draw shapes, set colors, and do other things that are specific to animations and images. Other languages contain other kinds of instructions that are suited to their specific context. However, the basic constructs of the algorithm, use of data, iteration, and selection are common. Over the past two weeks, we have spent a lot of time learning how to use iteration or repetition to create patterns in our images. We have also used selection to enable us to make choices about what color we use, what shapes we draw, or where we draw them. So what's next? In this final two weeks of this course, we will show you how to combine these constructs to do more interesting things. And we will also show you some new instructions in processing JS that can be used to make your images look better and enable you to have more control over how your shapes are drawn.